Hey guys, this video is focusing on the graphics options in the Sony 900E. If you guys ever follow Artings.com or the Artings YouTube channel, they recently did a Sony 900E settings video. <clears throat> I know some of you guys aren't huge fans of them. I actually do like them a lot and have talked to them a lot through Facebook and they've been very helpful in the past and dealing with certain issues of certain displays. So one thing I thought was interesting from the video, if you guys follow, Cedric is the guy that's on the video, and he breaks down all the settings. What I thought was interesting is that he mentioned that the graphics settings has the same input lag as game mode, except the graphics settings actually upscales more and has a sharper image. And by messing with it for a little while, I can definitely attest to it's a sharper more detailed image. It's not something you're going to be able to see in this video, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. But one option I typically leave on, as you saw in my gaming <clears throat> video, was smooth gradation. What's interesting though with a lot of these settings you see or hear about, smooth gradation is supposed to smooth the color banding that you see in the skybox. Okay, So what I noticed though is on a lot of PS4 Pro games and a lot of the Xbox One games is that if you look into the sky, you might not be able to see it, but I do want you guys to try it at home, is as I go up and down, there's a little bit of like a dirty screen. There is banding. Now you're gonna see more banding on my video, but just try this at home for me. Games like COD, what I like about them is they have a private match, so you can actually go through any of the, you know, the maps. I wish Battlefield had this. Go through any of the maps, but do me a favor, you're not going to see it when you're looking here. When you're looking into a skybox, uh, even Uncharted games, things like that. When you pan up, you're going to see like these horizontal lines that blur. Now, smooth gradation is supposed to fix that. But what I want to show you is that <clears throat> it's actually quite the opposite. So I was messing around with it this morning. And we're going to picture adjustments and come down to, where is it? I think it's in clarity. Yeah, clarity. So we're going to go over to it. Now, as you can see, look, looking up and down, I'll try this at home for me, guys. You know, pick a map. And then as you go to smooth radiation off, you'll see the cloud detail pop. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. you actually gain more detail with smooth gradation off. What's interesting though, it's not just the detail you lose, but the horizontal dirty screen look is gone. So I think smooth gradation is probably more designed for movies to help with the way that is processed. But I will tell you in games, at least in this one game, it definitely helps. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try a different map. Now on a different map, it's still the same. So for you guys, try a private match. It doesn't have to be in the latest COD. It could be, I mean, try something with HDR though. That may be a factor, but you know, kind of going back over to the skybox with the smooth gradation on high. As I'm going up, you'll see vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal lines going across the screen. Now I thought that was a checkerboard rendering issue. Now if I go back into smooth gradation and turn it off, Color, the detail comes back. And the banding goes away. So guys, give that a shot. Try smooth gradation off. Take a look at the skybox on whatever game that you have. And try giving the graphics um, display option a try. See if that feels like it's a sharper, cleaner. Apparently it's 4 for chroma on your Sony 900E and see if you like it and look at our things see what they say about their video okay take care guys thank you as always